What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ailers, and we've gotten a lot done since uh since the last episode. So uh yeah, let me sh let me show you. It's like a lot of cool stuff. The boy picked up so much redstone. Yep, got that bottle of enchanting too. All of it from uh the chest back here. I totally missed it. Like soon as I stopped recording the last episode, right? Look at that. There's something in there. I didn't even see that. You guys actually mentioned that, so thank you. I totally forgot that there's actual chests back there. But, yo, yo, get ready, man. Get ready. Look at this, man. I completely finished the uh, the strip mine, so I went all the way down. It was a lot of, it was a lot of cobblestone. Um, it's kind of difficult to sprint down these steps. But, yeah, essentially, the way that I'm mining here... Is, it's pretty boring, but comprehensive in the same like at the same time. Literally, I'm just trying to find ores as quickly as possible. So every every two blocks is a hallway, like all the way back down. So yeah, um, I think today we're on a quest for some demonium. We're on our quest for some diamond. Um, and I think I have. Oh come on, I can't I can't get those. Um, every single hallway is like four pickaxes deep, four iron pickaxes, like no enchantments. So that's kind of how I'm counting, making sure every direction is kind of similar. Hold up. You hear that, right? It's not the torch. We might be near a cave. Oh, that's great. But yeah, let's get started. We're going to be down here until we find ourselves a couple of diamonds. And uh, there's some other caves that I found too that... Uh, aren't too dangerous but you know I don't know yet I don't know if I'm ready to go into caves yet what is that noise okay I, I think do torches make noise now I don't know okay so this is gonna be pretty boring so I'm gonna just fast forward through all of this I absolutely love gravel man because gravel hides stuff so you you never pass up gravel what you're supposed to do is straight up make an extra shovel man and you, I hope we find diamonds this time because I've come across another gravel patch and I found literally nothing so let's get it all right so that was a whole lot of nothing now I just have a bunch of gravel Ugh, that's dumb all right all right oh wait, hold on, wait wait there's more Maybe we spoke too soon. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Oh, that is so rough. But hey, you know, that's what happens. That's what happens. Granted, we're on level 10, so we might be missing a lot of ores, so that's why I'm, like, when I'm done mining out these little hallways, um, essentially I'm going to go up just another level and do the exact same thing. So, I'm not really miss I'm I know that I'm missing a couple of ores, but, uh, because diamonds spawn anything below 16, so, like, r being at 10 is just one slice of that. So, yeah, I'll just have to do it. I have to make, like, 16 different levels of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of this mine, sh like, what, a strip mine or whatever. So, that I don't mind that, though. That just means today's episode is nothing but mining. <laughs> that, and also trying to figure out a way to, uh, restore my village, because every villager died. A zombie killed every single villager. And uh, I would like to live in a, a village that's alive. So what I'm thinking, and if you guys have any better, better ideas, you can always let me know. But what I'm thinking is that I'm going to use all the building materials that I'm getting from this mine, right? And I'm going to build, ex you know, extend the village with, you know, all the spruce wood to just make uh, new homes and stuff like that. And I'm going to put a wall around the village. And then every time I come across a zombie villager... I'm gonna lure him in, heal him with uh, with weakness and a golden apple, uh, and slowly build up a population that way. And then I'll have more iron golems because that was the one thing. Iron golems they were all wiped out as soon as I came in here. I don't, I didn't kill them. Just <laughs> I guess they were just all gone by the time I got there. But it's just okay. Let's get this gar uh, granite. I was ready to say garnet. Uh, yeah this granite here because that granite also hides stuff too 
granite and uh doryite andersite all of that just it hides it so don't be afraid. see see it's not diamonds but it's coal so at least i'm right <laughs> granted the uh, oh shit um uh, the pick what was it the granite takes up so much space that uh you'll end up killing more pickaxes that way but a small pi it's a small price to pay for um you know demondium you chief you feel me so i don't i don't mind doing that especially cuz we found some coal and we needed fuel anyway there's nothing wrong with that okay i guess we're speeding up through a hey! yep we're speeding up through here too see you on the f ooh ooh told you this is why we don't skip grant we don't skip it we don't skip it boy we don't skip yeah okay so it's gonna hurt my soul to mine this without fortune but uh let's see how many we get okay so far three four come on come on come on five come on come on six oh my lord oh my lord man come on come on what? Ooh, gold too. Oh my goodness. Six. We got ourselves six diamonds. Hell yes, man. That is good stuff. Good stuff. Big dope. Oh my gosh. It's nice. Big fine. Big baller. Shot collar. Oh my lord. We might actually be able to go to the Nether soon. <laughs> but we need to en we need some enchants first. We need enchantments. So we can definitely do that now. Because adding up the diamonds that we found in the... Oh, what am I doing? What in the hell am I doing? Uh, adding up the diamonds that we found in all of the sunken ships and the ones we came across in... No, no, we, I think we only came across the ones in sunken, sunken ships. So, yeah, all the sunken ships and buried treasure maps. That's where, yeah, buried treasure. We, I think, have, like, more than ten diamonds now. I think I have eight from then because there was four diamonds in the sunken... There was one diamond in the sunken ship next to the village. There was four diamonds in the treasure chest. So that's about five, and we picked up six. So yeah, we're definitely over ten at this point. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ha <laughs> ha! Another thing, another quick little tip. If you're strip mining, don't ignore dirt either. So yeah, like, all of the... If, don't ignore anything that's not stone essentially because it hides stuff chief it just hides stuff so just remember that like dirt especially hides a lot of stuff so let's see what we get here yep coal oh man we filled up that chest so we need another one granted this base station is a little small I did I, sh I wish I made it hmm I, I, yeah, I wish I made it a lot lar larger, but um, it's it's good enough now for the applications we're using it, so it's not it's not that bad. I think we'll take the valuables out of here and throw them in here because they don't need to be in there with the regular stone and stuff like that. And um, looks like we're running out of wood too. I'm not helping though, <laughs> you know, doing all that. It's looking like we're running out of wood though, so we might have to go up to the surface. But let's continue mining out this dirt. So yeah, so far we found some coal under all of this. So let's hope that we find something like redstone, gold, or diamond. You know, one of the three. Or maybe all three. I wouldn't be mad. Not at all. Ooh, iron. Look at that. Ooh, gold. Alright, so here's the plan here. We're going to pick up the rest of the ores around here, but we're going to do the same thing we did for the granite and for the this, too. What What is this? And Okay, what I said. Yeah. What the hell are these noises? I swear we're near a cave, which means... Ah! What the... Oh. This is one of the holes I made with the gravel and stuff I sealed up. Okay. Just use the dirt as a building block. Um... Which is a good way to use the dirt, actually. Um, literally, we'll clear all this out. 
but I think after this pick breaks, we'll go out of the mine, uh, pick up some wood, take up all the stone and stuff, ooh, and uh, we'll come back down here when we actually have some more resources in order for us to, you know, keep mining even more efficiently. I think that is fair. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think that works. We are finding a lot of coal, which is just brightening my soul. That rhymed. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side when this, um, this pick finally breaks. This is like the most durable pick I've had this entire time, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, so the pick broke. That made sense. That was what we were looking, you know, anticipating. So now what we're going to do is take as much as we can take up, and we'll just have to, you know, do a couple of trips. And, um... We'll take as much as we feel is necessary. Is there anything in here that we don't need? I'll throw the... We don't really need all of this dirt necessarily, but... That's what I'll do, is I'll keep this here. Run this up to the top. Throw it into the ocean or something like that. And, uh... Call it a day. Alright. We'll keep on going up and down, up and down. Ooh, all right. This is the second to last. We got to go back down there and pick up the last little bit of our stuff, and then we can uh, we can start making real moves. <laughs> you saw that? You saw how slick that was? You saw that, man? You saw how slick that was? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's the last little bit of the stuff that we pulled out of there. We'll go back down there when we have more wood. And our armor's actually doing pretty good. Yeah, we'll go back down there when we have more wood. But right now, we're processing. We want to process everything we have. We're going to use the last little bit of our spruce planks to make an, an additional chest. <gasps> but this one for uh, valuables, so we don't get those mixed in with everything else. Yes, I consider... Lapis to be valuable because it's really good for enchants. Well, it's actually the only thing you can use for enchants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the bottle of enchanting too from the the captain's part of the ship, so that was actually pretty good. Thank you guys for pointing that out because uh, that's a that was a big oofy on my part. Completely missed that. Granted, I was too busy trying to figure out how to not you know. Uh, die. Okay, we'll use the dirt and we'll fill this up. Is kelp good for anything? Can someone tell me that? Because I, I don't know if kelp is good, get, like really good for anything. It could be just me not being familiar with all the new stuff in the game because I haven't played that much recently. But, um,. Well, to be honest, no, that's, in, uh, that's incorrect. I have been playing, but I've been playing a lot of the Bedrock version with my friends, so this is my first real, in, like, serious gameplay of the, like, the newest version, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out uh, whether or not, hold up, do I really want, where do I want, to, yeah, let's place the dirt where we can, ooh, easily place water. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so we'll put a little mini farm over here before we really want to find a place to set up shop. And look at that. You see? Nice, 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 nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, yeah, we're good. One, two, three. We'll just... We'll put a chest there. Uh, no, we'll just put... Yeah, a chest there for... um. Yeah, we'll last a little bit of spruce planks chest there for seeds and stuff and food so that sounds like a smart place to put it all right so we'll let all that water do its thing and we'll throw the kelp back into the sea where it belongs all right yo we're really starting stuff now we're really you know out here yeah I'm using a regular furnace and not even using my blast furnaces isn't that funny isn't that funny? Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and use the last two to make ourselves a iron axe so we can go into this forest and fell some trees. 
I think that is a good use of our time. I dropped something. There you go. We'll throw these flint in here. Uh, we'll put our hoe away. We don't want our hoe out, you know, just being a hoe. <laughs> we'll go ahead and plant these potatoes. I guess that'll be our, our primary food for now over here. I don't necessarily think we need any wheat or anything like that. I don't think that's necessary. We'll just eat potatoes. You know, starches are for life, you feel me? All the starches. So yeah, you can tell that this entire village is, is just abandoned because for some reason, all the villagers went in here, right? That's why I took all the, the trap doors away. They went in there, fenced themselves off in the fence gates, right? And then got picked off by zombies. <gasps> it's a fox. Should, how do you tame a fox? I don't know how you tame a fox. Y'all need to tell me. I want one. And of course, yes, I'm going to go into the jungle and tame myself a panda. Can you tame a panda? I don't know. Uh, but I will get myself one. I don't care how far away from the jungle biome I am. We will figure out a way to bring a zesty boy here. Because that is that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah. Also, to all the people who are like, oh, my God, the aspect ratio. It's because I have an ultra-wide curved monitor. Literally, uh, I play so much Rainbow Six and League from time to time uh, that I really like to be immersed in my game. So I have an ultra-wide, like, 21 by 16 monitor that uh, makes recording gameplay very difficult. So what I have to do now for, like, for you guys to see this, t like, 1060p, not 4K stretched out weird um, <laughs> 14 by 1, I'm sorry, 16 by 1 or whatever aspect ratio that YouTube's, like, you know processes out i have to play windowed on like this monitor right so literally the gameplay right now you guys might think oh it's so full screen and awesome right no <laughs> it's like one third of my screen only i'm being able to play on so oh, the, the things i do for you guys so you don't have to worry about weird aspect ratios okay so we picked up 38 spruce logs which is a, ooh, a lot of wood so let's go ahead and go to bed and then we can go to that um sunken ship and we can go ahead and see what is in there i like the sunken ships that are in uh the frozen biomes because you'll see why you'll see why they're kind of cool wonderful hey hey let me show you let me sh show you why these are so cool because they're frozen man they're right in like the ice and everything chief look at that look at that Ooh, it's made out of jungle wood planks wonder why that's odd all right Okay, we're just going to have to cut our way in. Yeah, it's made out of jungle wood. I wonder why. I'll take it, though. It's not too bad. It's not. It was not make it go to waste. Now, what we're looking for is the chest, but it's difficult because it's the frozen. Okay, maybe, maybe it's over here. Let me use my stone. Hey, there it is. Treasure map and a compass. We'll take the paper too. Found it. Hey. Okay. Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. Oh wow. I didn't know. Okay. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Oh, look at that. Just let me Ha! Ha! What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing dumb stuff. I, all of a sudden I've forgotten how to shift click for some reason. What's wrong with me? Over here forgetting how to shift click. Alright, that's that's dope. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Alright, let's go to that other sunken ship. See any chests, so. But this is a full ship, man. But it's oh man, no. Bro. It's buried. Let's go. We gotta get back home and fast before things start spawning. Especially at the village. Things like the spawn there. That's exactly why everyone's dead. 
<laughs> I'll definitely pick up more of this mossy cobblestone because that means I don't have to craft it. Now, I left my boat here. Yes, I did. That'll mostly keep us safe. Unless any drowned really want to, you know, mess with us, which I hope they leave us alone. Because that'd be uh, really unfortunate. Okay, so another heart of the sea. I need to figure out... I, I know they're valuable, but I have to figure out what they're for. Which I know sounds pretty ignorant. It's like, oh, I know diamonds are, you know, valuable. I just, I have no clue what diamonds are for. Like, <laughs> it sounds pretty bad, but I'm sure y'all know where I'm coming from. Hmm. Is that ice or just an unloaded chunk under there? That is a unloaded chunk. All right, cool. Nothing. Something spectacular under there. We'll definitely go back to that ship and try to dig up as much as we can, but it's difficult with a full ship like that, man. You want to pass it up, but you know there's some good loot, so I'm not going to waste that. I don't know, but I'm, I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel, so... Your boy is gonna just keep doing his doing what he can. I don't think. Yeah, I'm really thinking that there's nothing here. I think this one is just a lost cause. Because we're having the ship is spawning into stone. And I don't have a pickaxe, so we might have to abandon this one, guys. Yep, it's it's a lost cause. There's no way there's anything down there. But hey, there might be something down here might be a chest. I just I can't see anything. I don't see. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Unbreaking and it's a fishing rod. It's exactly what I was trying to Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's go. I think we should look for one more. One more sunken ship or <gasps> it's a turtle. It's a turtle. One more sunken ship or one more um underwater structure. So I think that is a good way to use our time and then we can go back, cut down a few more trees, make some more tools, go to mine and I think that's a good day. I think that's pretty good. Oh my lord. Okay. I think we should double back and turn around because I don't think we're going to find any ships. I think our pirating has come to an end. But hey, there's a swamp, which means if it's a full moon, which it's not, we can pick up, pick up some slimes. So we know that there's a swamp over here. Oh, wait, underwater structure over there. Oh, it's a big one, too. Uh... Oh, ooh. ooh. Oh, shoot. No, it's nighttime. And they have tridents. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, no. That's not That's not smart. That is not smart. Oh, uh, God, that's not smart. We almost died. We could have died. They could throw a trident and break my boat. And then, um, you know, skewer me. And then it's the end of the game. <laughs> the game is over then, man. Oh, no. Birch Forest. Okay, so that's the Birch Forest we came from. I should really put torches out here, man. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, we should have just gone around. Oof, this ice biome is quite troublesome. Oh! Hey! Sunken ship. There's a sunken ship over here as well. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. It's big. What's that noise? Oh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No siree. No. No sherry. Uh, <laughs> I think I've lost, guys. Oh. This is not kosher. Not at all. 
and I'm in the middle of the ocean, and your boy can't bring up his coordinates because I can. Uh, I took a screenshot, so I can always find my coordinates, but it's just like, uh, it's kind of not convenient. Oh Lord, I think I'm lost, guy. Wait, no, I'm not. I see the torches. Yeah, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Yeah. Thank, thank you, past Aloris. Thank you, past man. You really put some torches down, and now he can find his way back home. You guys hear that? That means we're near, we're near a cave. There sounds like they're above me. Uh, if I don't approach it now. Okay, sounds like it's to my right. This thanks. This bat. Yep. Oh wow. They're right on top of me or around me or something. Sounds like a spider too. We're gonna take him out. Where the hell? Where is this guy? Oh oh oh. Right here. Oh, 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 no, 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 okay, okay. Wow, I didn't know I was near a cave, but I guess here I am. A lot of bats. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Hey, how's it going? Oof. Ouch. Let's play you some... Uh-uh. 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 Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh. That was... Oh, God. That was scary. Okay. We're done. We are done. Oh. All right. No. No. I've had my fill of mining. Okay, we picked up some gold, some diamonds, some iron. We got everything that we really needed today. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, we're done. We are complete. That was too scary. He knocked us down all the way to four hearts, Chief. That was... I think that's the closest we've come to... Like, we've come to dying so far, so... Let's not push our luck. Of course it's nighttime. And you're going to follow me. So are you. Yeah, I see you. But it's almost morning. It's almost morning. Oh, Jesus. What's good? What's good? Uh, what's good? What's good? It's sunlight time. It's night. It's daytime. It's This is my territory, Chief. All three, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. First you, butter boy. Yeah, yeah, you. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Got all three of you. Oh no! Ugh. Oh no! Son of a! We'll handle you first. We'll handle you first. All right, you're dead. You're dead. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Really? Uh uh. Uh 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 man. Yo! <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Oh, hey. My potatoes finally grew.
What's up everybody, it's your boy Ailerus, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, and if you're old, go ahead and hit that bell. If you are enjoying the new gaming series on this channel, and you want me to play any other games, let me know in the comments down below, and request any games you want me to see, play through, or, you know, review, or whatever. I'm open to anything. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters, so thank you to Maria, Horrorstar, The Caustic, Simon Possum, Pro Cookie, and Finny. Without their support, we can't do what we do here, and it truly helps a lot and if you want to help support the channel there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my patreon and as always stay zesty